Today is Monday. All right, guys. So I don't want to. I don't want to, you watching this. I don't want you listening just to see what you got in the test. So I'm going to tell you basically what you got at the start. Okay. Um, I think what we want to do is want to investigate the problems mathematically. Okay. Okay. So the answers I think for these questions, and these answers are pretty liable, but I didn't actually look at all of them. Okay. But just I talked to enough students that these are pro like. I would bet a lot of money that they're the right answers. Okay, but there's still some answers we'd like to check. Okay, 60 so 68, 42, 42, 16, 20, 44, 65, 65, yeah. So those are the first eight Nine questions, yeah? And 72. And one on... Oh. And the thing is, so it, yeah, like, the thing about this is that if that's what it says on your answer sheet, you'll just get full marks, okay? That's how simple it is for the first eight. Okay? But, I mean, but if you, some, some of you got, like, you know, like this one... So we, we have actually... Wait, which ones have we actually checked? Let's see. I've checked this one, I think checked so this question actually doesn't make sense at all okay so this question is invalid but somehow it, you can like you can get an answer of 20 and hope that's what they want but yeah the question is stated wrong okay we checked this one and yeah i think that's it so i mean today we could probably go through some of the other questions or it's really up to you okay but you know i would I would. I was considering going through question one, so I would like someone to maybe register some interest before I go through question one. Otherwise, we just skip question one. Okay. Um. Okay. And then question nine. So nine is different because you can get the right answer, you could still lose a ton of marks. Okay. So nine was seventy-two. Yeah. Okay. And ten. It was actually it wasn't just seventy-two. It was like seventy-two and seven or something. No, nine. Nine. Then, yeah. Because okay. they also ask you how many numbers there were or something. It was another, another question. Was, are you sure it was nine? Yeah. Okay. And then number 10, there were two two questions in one. And it was four over 11 and one over 242. So the thing is, because the answers are kind of not obvious, if you got those two answers, you'd probably get two out of five. You know what I mean? Get one mark for each answer. But you would lose one mark for every kind of random step that you don't explain, you know, or not even include. Yeah, so I'd like to talk about question 10 today at some point. Hopefully, um, we listen to Liam's, Liam's non-inversion solution. Not, someone's non-inversion solution. Did you do it? What? Kind of not really. <laughs> oh, did you I solve did it? it, but I did simplify it. Who solved it in the test? Question 10. Yeah. I shouldn't even try. There are too many circles. Oh. 10 I did, but I didn't simplify what I got. So I'll probably get 3 out of 5 marks. Hmm. I didn't like, no of my steps were correct. No, that okay. should all lead to the correct answer. Okay, well, I'll, after after dinner, I'd like to do some, um, some inversion. Maybe if they feel bad for me, they'll give me one partial question. Okay. Oh, I, I yeah. but it wasn't the right answer. Oh yeah, and we we checked that this this is correct and this and this are correct. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, there's the the A4 paper. But actually, they gave you a, an A4 sheet for nine and ten. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, they. <laughs> A4 is the best Alright, so that's a, like a quick summary of all the answers, okay? A4? 